you ever wonder if your quail can have city water, if you should be using filtered water, or you know what kind of water you need to be giving them? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about whether city water is safe to give your quail. The short answer is yes. It's perfectly fine. There's no reason you have to use anything else. But to give you a little bit more detail behind that, it, the studies have been done on chlorinated water uh, because most city water is chlorinated um, as to whether that's going to affect animals or not. Um, really, if there's anything under about five parts per million of chlorine in the water, it's fine. And when you get over about five parts per million, then it does have some adverse effects on it because chlorine is a chemical. It's a, you know, caustic, toxic chemical. Anyway, it's, I can't, I'm not a scientist or a chemistry major, you know, chemistry expert or anything like that, but, you know, Chlorine, you cannot just eat chlorine and it will kill you. So you really have to limit the amount of chlorine that's in the water to about five parts per million or below in order for it to be safe for quail, for chickens, for any other animal for that matter, including humans. So really, if your city water is safe for you to drink, it's safe for your animals to drink, including your quail, and it's perfectly fine. Most city water has anywhere from three to four parts per million of chlorine in it, and that's actually probably a good thing in a lot of ways because that will cut down on any kind of waterborne pathogens. Um, anything about three to four parts per million of chlorine in the water um, is effective at killing waterborne pathogens, so it keeps that out of your water, and you don't have to worry about transmitting those illnesses, those uh, pathogens, to your quail or your other animals. Um, if it gets above five parts per million, then yeah, it can have some adverse effects, but it has adverse effects on you as a person as well. And you know, you would have city, uh, the city would be on top of that and they would tell you, hey, don't drink the water, it's not safe. You have all kinds of warnings going out and all those kinds of things. Uh, there are other things in city water. Uh, fluoride, for example, um, is often added to city water, which is, uh, they've ad started adding that back in the, I don't know, was it the late 70s, early 80s, somewhere around in there. I don't even know exactly when they started adding that. But the thought is to help strengthen teeth. Uh, fluoride is a toxic chemical as well. Too much of that can have adverse effects, but it's in such small amounts in city water that it's perfectly safe, like I said, for us to drink and as well for your quail to drink. So there is no need for you to get filtered water. Your quail are fine drinking city water all the way from the time they hatch out till, you know, forever. They don't, you don't have to worry about any kind of special water for your quail. Now, if you do live, um, like say out in the country and you're, you're drawing your water off of a, a well, it, as long as the, the well is testing out safe for you, it's safe for your birds as well. You don't need to worry about getting chlorinated water. It's really not a big concern. It's nothing you should really worry about. So kind of a short video, easy explanation, but it's a topic I hadn't addressed before and I've had a couple of questions come up about it. So I thought I would get it covered for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you got what you needed. And as always, God bless.